Good morning, C.W. Johnson Jr. here. The day is December 8th, 2017. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date that will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the Empire of Japan. Well, I haven't been reading anything about Pearl Harbor. I have been reading, I have finished, The Candy Bombers by Andrew Kearney. It's a very inspiring book. I usually don't get emotional when reading books. I are choked up when reading books, but I got choked up a lot of times reading this book because it's a very inspiring story about forgiveness and compassion to former enemies. Many of the pilots who took part in the Berlin airlift were actually the pilots who bombed Berlin three years before and were trying to kill the people whose lives they saved during the Berlin airlift. So I got choked up a lot of times and it's a very inspiring story about especially the people of Berlin standing for freedom even when it could have been death for them because they weren't getting any food from the Soviets. So it definitely needs to be a movie. Uh, this has become a movie I've heard. Um, Victoria and Abdul, the true story of the Queen's being Queen's Closest Confidant by Sarbanani Basu. Yes, I read this one. I did not get to see the movie. It was at the Robinson, but unfortunately I never never played when my, I had any available time because I wanted to go see it, but I never got to. Uh, keep my eyes self in the Christmas spirit. I have been reading... Wow, that is fair. That's a glare there. Stop that, J.J. Abrams. Anyway, I've been reading the uh, stories behind the greatest hits of Christmas by Ace Collins, best-selling author. Uh, it's from Zondervan. I don't know if I've read anything else by him. Anyway, it's a lot of great stories, interesting uh, stories here about how Christmas songs came to be, and a lot of ideas for Hallmark movies here. A lot of movies ideas, especially um, Hallmark movies. Speaking of Hallmark movies, that's mainly what I've been watching recently. I watched. Uh, Christmas trade, tis the season. I did go and see Wonder the other day. Yes, I did cry when the dog died. But yeah, it's a great movie. Well, it's a cute movie for the whole family to go see. Uh, another thing for the whole family I read recently, uh, Keep Myself in the Christmas Spirit, is Boxes for KT uh, by Candace Millard, pictures by Stacy Dresden McQueen. McQueen, any, re any relation to Steve, I wonder. Anyway, it's from. Melanie Krupa Books. Yes, New York, of course. Um, a book I have started recently is Barnum's Own Story by P.D. Barnum. And, of course, it's the his autobiography written in the 1850s. And that's a Barnes & Noble receipt that I use as a gift card. And, of course, uh, it's actually his first one, so he sort of paints himself wart, wart and all, warts and all in it. And later on, he um, some of his, some of his later biographies, he tried autobiographies, he tried to make himself a little more prettier. But I'm reading this to get myself ready to go see the Greatest Showman, which is coming out earlier in the month. I'm definitely going to see that. It looks like a fun Christmas movie, Christmas season movie, fun historical drama. Still listening to Wilson by A. Scott Berg. Uh, let me see, it's twenty. Six disc. I'm like on 17. They're in the middle of World War One right now. And one of the things about this CD, it's like each segment is like 30 minutes long. So if you miss something, you can't rewind. So and there's four segments on each CD. So I wish they had broken up the segments a little more because sometimes it's like what what I can't go back because I don't want to listen to 15 more minutes again. So it's you didn't have to pay attention to this one. And I'm, let me see what else I got. Uh, I just stopped by at Walmart, got Beyond the Further Star, which looks like a good movie, good Christmas movie. Um, I, I know they try to get into theaters, but are good. So this is one I look forward to seeing. I uh, definitely look forward to seeing that one. Uh, it's snowing in South Louisiana. Apparently the snow worked for the Louisiana government because it ignored Northwest Louisiana, the fair-haired Step, red haired stepchild of Louisiana. So um, that's what's been going on. Uh, you know, I had that book, I was listening to that book about Sergeant Stubby. Well, there's a new trailer farm been dropped. 
I'm going to put that down in the um, trailer, down in the description section here. So that's what's been going on. And uh, I'm going to probably watch some more Hallmark Christmas movies this week. And by the way, Hallmark, if you're ever looking for any uh, melancholy but cynical, wisecracking, good old Southern boys to be the romantic lead in any of your Christmas movies, I'm available. Or I could also be the cynical, wisecracking co-worker boss who fires the guy right before Christmas. But it's Christmas Eve, sir. I know the date of the month. And tomorrow's Christmas, so consider me Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Here's my gift to you. So that's what's been going on. I, uh, if you have any book recommendations for me to read this Christmas season to keep myself in the spirit of the holidays, post below. Thank you.